Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. Uh, we have been uh, talking about uh, olefin metathesis in the last uh, few lectures and in that uh, regard we have uh, uh, looked into various kinds of mechanisms which had been proposed uh, for olefin met metathesis and come across names like calderon, petit, grubs, uh, chauvin and also uh, we had uh, uh, seen the mechanism gaining consensus uh, with uh, regard uh, to uh, uh, the correct one and in that process we had seen how chauvin's uh, mechanism of having a metal carbene intermediate uh, uh, being uh, accepted as the ma uh, main active species for carrying out olefin metathesis reaction. In that uh, regard, we had also uh, uh, discussed in the previous lecture about the seminal work by Professor Tom Katz who had uh, uh, correctly predicted uh, the, uh, uh, the olefinic products uh, for by using different olefin explaining uh, their formation through metal carbene intermediates. Now, uh, in that time, that point of time, we had also looked into uh, uh, the active species uh, much more details and what we had observed is that this metal carbene uh, uh, intermediate or metal carbene moieties at that time uh, uh, can be of two types uh, as uh, uh, is better known as the Schrock carbene and uh, Fischer carbene. And in our previous class, uh, we had also looked into uh, the type of bonding present in uh, uh, um, Schrock carbene as well as uh, Fischer carbene. And uh, uh, what we had seen that in Fischer carbene, and both are uh, car carbonic moiety, uh, but uh, the way they differ is uh, in the type of bonds they make, whereas uh, in the uh, Fischer carbene. Uh, it is a ligand to metal sigma donation followed by metal to ligand pi donation, whereas uh, uh, in Schrock carbene both are uh, in uh, um, a covalent bond, uh, uh, both the uh, sigma as well as the pi bonds are in uh, are simple covalent bonds. Uh, uh, so, uh, one can say that this is dative, uh, dative bond between metal ligand and this is covalent bond between metal uh, ligand. So, in this uh, context another important discovery it was made by Ardengo, uh, Ardengo and this is called this Ardengo's uh, bottleable carbenes. Yeah, usually a carbene uh, 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 can exist in the singlet and the triplet state with the triplet state being more stable, whereas uh, Ardengo successfully uh, isolated singlet bottleable carbenes and that is why uh, 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 you know which is supposedly a the uh, excited carbene and they were uh, Ardengo could stabilize them and the interesting thing about it is that uh, they were so stable that they could be isolated and even crystallized and that uh, led uh, to the discovery of this uh, huge field of N heterocyclic carbenes uh, uh, which were found to be excellent uh, ligand for uh, and have great uh, catalytic uh, uh, properties. So, uh, uh, this uh, Ardengo's bottleable carbene uh, became a big hit in the area of homogeneous catalysis and we will just uh, take a brief moment uh, uh, to discuss uh, these uh, 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 carbenes uh, in bit more details. Ardengo uh, synthesized uh, this uh, from their imidazolium uh, chloride salt in presence of sodium hydride as a base which uh, resulted in formation of this singlet stable carbene 
uh, in 96% uh, yield and it is kind of high stable, very stable with melting point about uh, 240 degree uh, centigrade. Uh, uh, this AD is a bulky adamantyl group and uh, Ardengo uh, uh, discovered this in another JCS paper in 1991. Now, what is a uh, uh, key thing uh, over here is uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the strategy which Ardengo uh, used in stabilizing uh, these carbenes which are uh, singlet carbene uh, means that uh, these carbenes can donate uh, this uh, uh, lone pair to uh, metals. Uh, uh, and make a good uh, sigma bond. Also, uh, the way Ardengo stabilized uh, the singlet carbene is because of the pre uh, presence of two uh, nitrogen heteroatoms, uh, which would sort of uh, pull uh, the um, uh, carbene lone pair towards inset, and then uh, uh, it would have uh, its empty PG orbital. Par partially populated uh, by a lone pair on nitrogen uh, uh, giving on to the carbon. So, that is how uh, uh, this uh, 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 carbene were prevented uh, from going back to their triplet state, uh, less stable or not accessible. So, as a result singlet carbenes were formed. So, this uh, is uh, uh, furthermore uh, what Ardengo did uh, is that Ardengo uh, took help of uh, uh, bulky adamantyl substituents uh, which uh, would protect uh, this uh, lone pair uh, from dimerization. So, this uh, 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 mechanism is uh, of protecting using sterics uh, uh, by the adamantyl group. Uh, as well as the electron uh, donation from the nitrogen lone pair uh, as well as presence of two heteroatom is called push push pull pull mechanism. Effect uh, of which uh, uh, sort of led to the uh, stabilization of the singlet carbene. Uh, and to the extent that this singlet carbene is so stable that it has a very high boiling point of about 240 degree centigrade, it can be bottled, uh, you can even buy it uh, uh, this uh, singlet carbene and then use it uh, 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 you know, for complexation with the metal and they are extremely a, a good uh, 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 binder to uh, metals and they form sigma bonds uh, with uh, metal. So, this is uh, uh, how another uh, 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 extremely good ligand for catalysis that is singlet and heterocyclic carbene came into being and this uh, also is a development which has happened which had happened in ind uh, industry particularly uh, at DuPont. Uh, we had uh, uh, we had also uh, spoken about uh, referred to as uh, DuPont. Uh, in the context of the fact that the first uh, observation of metathesis uh, of observing ethylene propylene copolymer uh, from a feed of ethylene for uh, olefin polymerization over a molybdenum catalyst was also indeed uh, first observed at DuPont. Uh, so, uh, here we see that another uh, uh, interesting contribution uh, coming out of uh, industrial lab uh, and this is uh, this uh, bottleable. Uh, singlet uh, carbene from Ardengo. Now, uh, we are going to uh, spend some more time um, on uh, 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 explaining the singlet and the triplet nature of the carbene uh, uh, as we go along so as to help understand and appreciate uh, 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 the different uh, types of uh, metal carbene moieties that are uh, possible. In a singlet carbene, moiety bound to metal the carbon lone pair is an sp2 orbital and then there is a empty p2 
Pz orbital and uh, that is why this is called singlet carbene singlet carbene uh, is more common in Fischer and then the uh, in Fischer carbene it is said that the carbon moiety has a uh, heteroatom and that uh, has the following kind of uh, resonance structure uh, which is elaborated over here. The uh, metal uh, is anionic in nature particularly because of electron donation for the singlet carbene uh, uh, which makes the carbene positive and the metal negative. That can, uh, uh, so this is the ionic structure and uh, then there is a canonical form which is neutral. With uh, another canonical form existing as M plus C minus X R and that existing with L M minus C X plus R. So, what we see that this has several uh, uh, canonical forms uh, 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 primarily uh, uh, all of them are uh, ionic in nature uh, except for one neutral form which is carbonic in nature. Similarly, one can uh, uh, draw structure for the triplet carbene bound to metal and uh, here also one sort of sees. Now, here also it is a sp2 orbital. Now, the pz orbital is not vacant and also has a, a, a single electron and hence it is called a triplet carbene. As a, so, uh, what one can see that when uh, and this uh, is called uh, Schrock carbene. and the singlet carbene is in Fischer carbene. So, uh, uh, what one can see that uh, singlet carbene Fischer carbene can uh, engage in two kind of bond one is uh, uh, ligand to o metal uh, uh, sigma dative bond because of this lone pair being donated as well as uh, uh, metal uh, to ligand pi dative bonds as is shown over here. Whereas, uh, uh, um, uh, for uh, the uh, Schrock carbene uh, it can uh, only uh, make uh, ligand metal sigma bond which is covalent and similarly it can make uh, metal ligand pi bond also uh, covalent. So, uh, in terms of uh, 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 Fischer carbene uh, both two dative bonds are made in terms of Schrock carbene two covalent bonds of uh, bonds are made. Uh, uh, and uh, there is a sharp distinction uh, in the reactivity of these two uh, uh, types of carbenes as uh, uh, we have uh, uh, seen. Now, um, we will uh, sort of uh, take a look at Fischer carbene uh, 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 interaction uh, uh, with the metal in with more detail. So, in Fischer carbene thus the interaction that occur uh, this is filled to a uh, metal d sigma orbital which is empty.
whereas this is the sigma interaction and the corresponding pi interaction is depicted over here. Now this one is empty, this is a sp2 field and this is pz empty interacting with a uh, metal uh, p a uh, d pi orbital and which is filled and this is a pi type interaction this is a metal to ligand pi and this is ligand uh, to metal sigma interaction and this is a uh, typical of a uh, fisher uh, carbene uh, type of uh, interaction uh, you know, the way the carbonic moiety interacts uh, uh, with the metal center. Similarly, uh, we are going to uh, look at the interaction of uh, shock carbene uh, with the uh, uh, metal center. Uh, yeah, uh, in that case uh, both the sp2 orbital as well as the pz orbital will have a, a single unpaired electron. So, this is called half field and the metal d sigma orbital is also half filled and uh, they make a bond which is metal ligand sigma kind of bond covalent. Similarly, the corresponding pz or orbital having one unpaired electron is also half filled interacting metal sigma d pi orbital which is also half filled. and this is a metal ligand pi interaction and which is also covalent uh, interaction. So, uh, what uh, is interesting over here is that both uh, 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 the metal carbon moiety would look like to have a metal carbon double bond, a sigma bond uh, and the pi bond. However, uh, the nature of bonding in Schrock carbene and Fischer carbene are completely different and uh, uh, which uh, sort of results in different kind of uh, reactivity between these carbonic uh, complexes. So, uh, uh, we are going to uh, sort of uh, uh, take a look at uh, some of the uh, interesting methods uh, uh, what have been used in uh, uh, synthesizing these carbon complexes uh, starting with uh, the Fischer carbene complex uh, uh, by from tuxnil uh, hexacarbonyl.
Sunxyl hexacarbonyl in reactions with lithium alkyl in diethyl ether give uh, the Fischer carbene complex as shown over here and that uh, when reacted with CH3 whole 3 O plus BF4 minus gave the Fischer carbene complex in 1964. Uh, Fischer carbon complex can also uh, be synthesized uh, uh, by other method uh, uh, the way is shown over here. CO plus CF3 SO2H resulting in the cationic complex of rhenium And this was made by John Gladys in 1983. Another um, synthesis method involves reacting platinum dichloride PPH3 isocyanide C and pH. in ethanol giving CLPT PT PPH3 double bond C and H PH OET and this was uh, reported by chat in 1969. Similarly, Hey, there, are, there have been a uh, uh, few uh, uh, extremely nice uh, examples uh, of method have been reported for Schrock carbon complex starting with titanium dichloride as is shown here CP2 titanium chloride plus sodium methoxide, sodium methoxide giving CP2 tantalium CH2 CH3. This was uh, reported by Schrock himself in 1975 and Another example was reported by Gladys in the reaction of rhenium CP NO L CH3 in presence of pH 3 C plus PF 6 minus in dichloromethane giving CP rhenium CH2 L NO plus plus CH 
P H 3. So, uh, this uh, is a important uh, reagent, uh, this is called Tritel C H 3 C plus and uh, this Tritel uh, sort of abstracts a proton. So, uh, uh, this uh, is a hydrogen abstractant reagent uh, which sort of abstracts this hydrogen from methyl and converts into a rhenium carbene bond and uh, results in formation of CHPH3. So, this uh, uh, was reported by Roper in uh, 1983. Another uh, interesting uh, approach uh, uh, for making uh, this uh, uh, Schrock carbene is uh, uh, shown over here. So, another started with Na2, uh, it is a metal HCR O CO5 uh, plus this uh, cyclopropane dichloride uh, at a minus 20 degree centigrade uh, to NaCl in THF. Uh, they gave the corresponding CO5 CR. carbene complex as is shown over here and this uh, is reported by Ophelia in 1968. Another interesting example or method for synthesizing is uh, this PPH3 whole thrice osmium chloride NO uh, reacting with uh, diazomethane CH2N2 giving P, uh, PH3 and minus N2 uh, giving this osmium carbene complex. Uh, uh, with uh, P, uh, PH3, P, uh, PH3, uh, Cl, uh, you know, uh, by Roper in 1983. So, what we see is uh, indeed interesting examples in which these carbon complexes were made. Uh, some another interesting one uh, uh, is uh, uh, discussed here uh, in which the action of C5 H5 Mn uh, CO whole 2 THF uh, uh, in presence of diazomethane uh, eliminates uh, a molecule of dinitrogen uh, to give this uh, dimer Mn uh, CO CO uh, Mn Mn uh, with uh, CH2 uh, CO CO uh, in 8 percent yield uh, plus M bound to olefin CH2, uh, CH2 92 percent yield. This was uh, reported by Harman in uh, 1975. Uh, and uh, last uh, but not, not the least, another uh, interesting reaction that involves uh, uh, cleavage of an olefin uh, um, for accessing uh, uh, this uh, uh, carbene uh, has been reported by Lappard which uh, took uh, this olefin uh, and uh, inserted that uh, onto a iron pentacarbonyl which loses a CO to give uh, this uh, uh, tetramethylene uh, uh, carbene. Uh, complex uh, which is accessed from the olefin. So, this is uh, uh, synthesized reported by Lappert in 1977. So, uh, with this we come to an end uh, at uh, uh, of today's uh, lecture uh, whereby we looked at uh, uh, this uh, uh, important in intermediate of olefin metathesis which is a metal carbene moiety. And then uh, what we had done is we have looked into the various kinds of uh, uh, metal ligand interaction present in metal carbene moiety. We have also looked at uh, uh, Ardengo's bottle level singlet carbene, the strategy and uh, in synthesizing it uh, behind stabilizing it and the strategy that was successfully observed uh, uh, while synthesizing these bottle level carbenes. We have also uh, looked at various uh, synthetic uh, uh, methods which are available for synthesizing the uh, original fissure and the Schrock carbenes. And what uh, uh, comes out of all this discussion is uh, uh, the beauty of organometallic uh, uh, chemistry in general 
because we saw that uh, work by Lappert, Harman, Ophel, uh, uh, Strock, uh, and so many others, uh, Gladys, uh, uh, led to different uh, beautiful synthetic roads uh, to each of these uh, carbon complexes. So that uh, sort of explains uh, uh, the uh, aesthetics and beauty that organometallic chemistry presents uh, as such. So with this, uh, I come uh, to the conclusion of today's uh, uh, lecture, uh, which looked into the catalytic species of olefin metathesis, which is metal carbon species uh, in general. We have looked into classifications of metal carbon species, uh, the synthesis uh, uh, behind uh, each of them. We have also looked into various kinds of uh, carbenes, including uh, these uh, uh, otherwise so famous N heterocyclic carbenes and uh, the strategy used for synthesizing that. So, this has been an extremely fruitful uh, discussion uh, where we looked uh, at the chemistry and the reactivity of the metal carbene species and carbene species in general and their relevance to olefin metathesis. So, more of this discussion on olefin metathesis can, uh, would continue uh, in the next class where look up the development of olefin metathesis uh, in bit more uh, detail. Also lastly, I would like to note uh, that industry as we had been saying over and over again that industry had been a key player in development of organometallic chemistry and in this context I would like to mention also here that the bottle level carbene by Ardengo was indeed uh, 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 industrial contribution. Ardengo had reported uh, uh, it from DuPont and we had observed the same thing uh, that olefin metathesis, uh, uh, the intricacy about olefin metathesis uh, was first observed indeed at DuPont in 1956 uh, when they were trying to explain uh, the observation of ethylene propylene copolymer uh, when they were trying to carry out polymerization with only propylene. So, with this uh, I conclude today's uh, lecture. Uh, we are going to be discussing more uh, on uh, uh, the developmental aspect of olefin metathesis in the next class. Till then, goodbye and thank you.